Welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. And this is the last in the series of designing your business model for social impact. And today we're going to be talking about operating and resource strategies. So if you've been following this series, or if you have not been following the series, we've already talked about who is a change and who is a change agent. And then we talked about um, the second video is about social venture strategies and social impact strategies. And then the last one we did was about business models. And now today we're going to be talking about operating um, and resource strategies. And this will wrap that whole series up, right? So what are operating and resource strategies and where do you find them? Who plays a role in them? What type of software? Those are things that we're going to explore today. If this is your first time catching Mission Impact Series, my name is Tracy P. Allen. I'm the owner of TDA Consulting Group, where I help social impact businesses design, build, and fund their social ventures. All right. I am Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. And it takes all kinds of system strategies, all, all kinds of stuff. You know, we just ain't doing stuff out here, Tracy. <laughs> we just ain't doing it. We're not Nike over here. No offense to Nike. Right. Nike. Just do it. <laughs> uh, you want to start? You want to start? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can start. So um, operating resources. So as a social impact business, you have to know what it is that you need to run your operation. So you've decided what your business model is. You understand what a social, um, what a change agent is. We looked at strategies, goals versus strategies and how to implement those strategies. But like I talked about, I think I talked about in that same video, which is um, social impact strategies and social venture strategies. I talked about resources, right? And the stages of, of strategies. That's where the operational resources come in, because in order to get those strategies out, you're going to need to have certain systems in place that allow you and resources to implement the strategies that you create effectively so that you create impact within your community. So with looking at the operating resources and strategies, OK, so what do we need to operate this this um, organization? Um, we need an ED. Do we need a fundraise somebody to do just primarily fundraising? We need um, a secretary because we need somebody at the front desk if you have a brick and mortar or to answer calls to do some kind of outreach. Do we need an outreach person? Are we going to be running programs? So do we need a program specialist? Those are the operating strategies. And then for me, the resources come in with who are we going to partner with and within the community to help us to create impact within the community. Because we can't do it by, by ourselves, right? We're just one entity in this big city of probably 3 million people, right? We need partners. We need other resources in order to help us to um, create the impact that we need to create in the, in the community. So we're going to go out and we're going to make real partnerships, build relationships with other organizations and they can become our resource partners so that we can refer our clients to them so we can have what we call holistic or, um, or I'm looking for the word anyway, but having, um, <laughs> I, and I said it last time we did this, but we can have around like, you know, services that are encompassing the entire per person so that they're not left to fall back into whatever habit it was that they're trying to get out of. So we need to build those resource partners and those resource partners become our allies in helping us to get the word out, to build awareness of our existence within the community as well. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, it all, for me, it all goes back to um, logic model inputs, right? What do we, what do we need to make this thing work? Who do we need to make this work? What kind of money do we need to make this work? What systems do we need? What, what people do we need to make this work? To make this a functional, functional business organization? Who needs to be here? What kind, what kind of resources are we looking for? Do we need? transportation? Do we need an ED? Do we need a pro? All this stuff. How are we going to make it work? So and going back to a couple of 
series ago where we talked about implementation, right? We can't mm-hmm. implement without proper tools. Right. So we know that we have to do something. What are the tools that are going to expedite this process? What? Who do we need? Are there people? Are there places? Are there other communities? Are there other organizations? Are there different you know, folks who we want to become partners and allies with to help us to progress along our mission? Because that's what it's all about. You know, what, mm-hmm. what is the mission? And what are the little pieces? Um, you know, not just, and we, when I think about systems, usually I think about you know having some type of protocols in place and you know operational procedures in place and systems in place and even things yeah, all, being, all of that, all mm-hmm. of that being in place, bylaws in place, mm-hmm. even all the way over to QuickBooks and, and, and Salesforce, like what all the way over there. What are those little pieces that go into this puzzle to make that? pretty picture that we want to create at the end. Uh-huh. Knowing when is the right time to bring in certain resources in operations. Yeah. Everything is not needed all at once. You know, I had a question the other day where, you know, people love to be CEOs, even when they're like the only person. I, I'm not going to talk about that thing either. Even when they're <laughs> I've, I've convinced myself not to have a problem with that, but sometimes I do because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, if you're the only person who, who works here, like there's absolutely nobody else here in mm-hmm. your organization, can you be executive director and not be CEO? And then like, well, I like CEO and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fuss with you. Just be who, be all that you can be. Be whatever you. Want. <laughs> but you know, if your organization is at this at a stage where it's growing and you're and you're needing to get in multiple program directors or executive directors or COOs and CFOs and and managers and outreach workers and all these people, when do we bring those in? When is the time? You know, if this is day one and we haven't and we ha- we don't we're not starving anybody, then maybe it's not the time. Maybe it's not a fiscally responsible decision to bring in somebody that you're having to pay a $70,000 salary for when you ain't serving but one person, especially when you go get the money from to cover this. So strategic planning, you know, also what we talk about a lot, people are kind of missing out on doing that, that'll kind of pump you into different spaces of when you even need to bring in certain pieces of the operation or certain parts of the systems that you use to make this thing work. Yeah. It's about what we always talk about, right? Um, Building community partners, building relationships, looking at your systems and processes, making sure that they were having a strategy in place. So whether it's from your business plan to your strategic plan, to your logic model, your program evaluations, you know, how you're going to even collect data, how you're going to record the data, how you're going to maintain the data, how you're going to use the data, like all of it. And that is, I'm going to talk about data in, I guess, next month or the month after or something like that. Anyways, again, we're talking about data again, because it's, yeah. it's ever present, right? It's ever present. So yeah, just looking at the overall aspect of your organization is going to be imperative for the success of it. So that's it. I think for me, do you have any last words? That's all I got, y'all. All right. Okay. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us.